Hi, I'm Eve D'Souza and I play the crazy psychotic Varshita. I'd just like to say that I'm actually a very nice person and I'm not nuts in real life. Um, so people think that the show is based just on racial biasness towards Indians, towards Africans. But what they don't realize is where it stems from is in the Indian community, there is bias depending on what your skin color is. So for darker Indians, they are placed in the lower caste system and they are discriminated against and treated really badly. So you can imagine if it's bad enough within the community how it works now when you bring race into play. What? Not only about racial biasness, but the pressures in society. I myself am in my late 30s. I'm not married. So I can relate to many women who are in their 30s and feel that pressure like everyone's you know asking the question why are you not married what's wrong with you yeah and you would do anything to get married because the kikui culture was easy you know like that's everyone knows uh, yeah what works what doesn't in the kikui culture but indians do stand, tend to kind of stick to to their community um, and i'm not the best example of an, a typical indian so we had to reach out to um, a lot of my indian friends and do workshops with them and get, gain insights about their cultures about their mannerisms so that it would be authentic because we didn't want to do a show that was inauthentic and did not represent both cultures yeah, that's not creepy at all. That was the first thing that was a little difficult, us ourselves having to learn about um, the Indian culture. Secondly was getting Indians to act on, on, on TV because most Indians have, have their family business or whatever it is going on, and they're like, really, being on TV? What? You want me to... Why? And for peanuts. You know, like in their minds, it was... I'm... Uh, do I really have to...? Yes, you do. <laughs> 500,000 Kenya shillings, Mrs. Butt. But then once we started uh, producing the first season and people started talking about it, I'm actually very excited. We're now in season 10 and we actually have a lot of Indians who reach out to us and say, oh, I want to be on the show. If, you, if there's any openings, let us know. So that's been a great process as well. And I think the third challenge was as much as we are talking about the stigma when it comes to uh, interracial dating, and the challenges that's facing, we, we had to bring it out, but bring it out in a comedic way and still be funny about that. There's a, there's a very thin balance between being extremely offensive um, and abrasive about it, but we wanted to kind of balance it out with a little bit of light humor and keep it light, yeah.